Welcome to Good Mythical More. We fancy ourselves as uh, fancy advice givers. Yes. We give the fanciest of advice, but is it the best advice? Is it better than the advice that AI could generate? I hope not. Well, I hope so. the AI is getting so. better all the time. I hope so. Well, no, we want the AI to, to get smarter and smarter, man, so it can solve all our problems. I don't know about that. Uh, but first, let's list them all. Okay. Stephen King movies. It. Pet Cemetery. Um, uh, the Road to Perdition. The Shining. Um, the Green Mile. Um, what's the one the, about the uh, the um, the Kong, bu the bubble? Kong Skull Island. The bubble. That was a series. What was called the uh, Dome. <laughs> um, what about um, what about uh. Um, the one, the scary one where he was, you know, he was snorting cocaine and writing about it. Yeah, that was The Shining. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I think it was a lot more than that. What about the one, it's like about the, is it the tower, the dark tower? What is it called? Yeah. yeah. Um, what about, um, uh, What about Bob? <laughs> what about Bob? I don't know. My favorite Stephen King. I don't know. I mean, come on, give me some more Stephen There's King. There's so many come good on, ones. Shawshank Redemption. Shawshank Redemption! Is Road to Perdition one? Or was I thinking of Shawshank Redemption? Cujo. 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 Salem's Lot. Salem's Lot. No, not acceptable. Pet Cemetery. Stand he by. Said I that. said Pet Cemetery. What else? Y'all don't know either. Misery. Misery. Oh, man. Prolific. He's so prolific. Kathy Bates. And Did he's still writing all the time. Yes. The James Stand. Con? Who? The Stand. The Stand. The Stand. That was a big mini series, right? On television? On the television. Ah, oh, Stephen King. Active on Twitter. <laughs> Active on Twitter? Doing good. He's he's writing all the time, including tweets. Good for him. All right, let's outdo some AI now that we've outdone Stephen King. Okay, our first problem comes from Mythical Beast at Quaffillin. Quaffillin? <laughs> I don't know. Oh. My cat keeps biting people's nipples, and it's becoming a problem. Mm especially when there's guests over or when someone's trying to sleep. What should I do? What, stop feeding your cat nipples. Um, You're training your cat. So the, uh, Okay. Body I'm trying nipples. to make sense of the subject and the... Uh, That's a tall cat. The guests are sleeping? Is the guest someone that, that, that's trying to sleep? So yeah, do you have a cat that is biting people's nipples as they sleep? Yes, it does seem like when someone's trying to sleep, the nipples are being bitten. Uh, Why well, is that happening? Well, I mean, a, a cat begins its life by Suckling? Biting, a, biting a nipple. Cat, cats like to bite. Um, my cat likes to bite. Have you had a cat, a, your cat bite a nipple yet? Sokka's never bit my nipple, but I've never presented Sokka with my nipple. <laughs> yeah. How do they have guests that are sleeping with exposed nipples? Because yeah. that's a whole different issue. Yeah, that's um. Because I think you could. Probably, I think that's called a hostel. I, here's the thing. Everyone already. Wild knows. stuff happens at a hostel. Yeah, yeah. Everyone you mean, already knows. Ain't nobody paying. <laughs> no, people pay like five dollars a night. Everybody knows you cannot control a cat, right? So I think what you gotta do for all guests, you know how when people come into some people's homes and they take their shoes off? You <laughs> gotta take people's shoes off and give them a couple of pasties. Couple of pasties. <laughs> you gotta have free pasties. Yeah. You could do shoe covers and nip covers. Shoe you know, covers and So you're not taking covers. anything off. You're just putting stuff on. You get pasties you know? and then the cat got nothing to, nothing to bite. Sokka will just walk up to my, if I'm wearing shorts, Sokka will walk up to my leg and just bite it. Really? Like slowly, playful, playful. Like button. no, no. It's not like. It's more like. <laughs> and looking you, up at me. What do you do? What? Well, I've started praising him because here's the thing. <laughs> uh, okay. Christy, I'm interested in this. Christy thing. has hated Sokka because Sokka came into our house and started eating all the plants, like eviscerating all of her plants, and now of course, her meat. plants are her. Babies. I mean, she invests and has relationships and names and Instagram content. She's naming the plants. Oh, all of that. Wow. And um, so she hated the cat. And she's like pss, spraying the cat with water. And then we watched this thing on uh, this cat show. I think on Netflix. 
and um, she had this revelation that she was like, oh, I need to, I don't need to reprimand the cat, I need to distract the cat and be nice to the cat. And so now, when Sokka eviscerates a plant, she goes up to Sokka and is like, Sokka boy, Sokka boy, let's do something else. And it, 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 it kind of works. Sokka boy, stop eating my leg. <laughs> so basically, we praise the cat for all the wrong things that he's doing in the house. And um, he's clearly won. I guess it does help some. Like their relationship is so much better, and he doesn't. He's, he's not, not eating the plants. He's not eating the plants anymore. Because I was gonna say you could set out some nipples. You just distract the distract cat, him. and it's like he never remembers about the thing. You Let's could see. just have a house full of just nipples. Uh, yeah, so but I then Christy has to the... name all the nipples, and she becomes uh, yeah. close Inst with the and nipples. Did she put them on Instagram? That's yeah, right. Yeah, she has nipple content not, on Instagram. You, hey, they're Sokka all blurred. Boy, you know, you know, on Okay, a what did AI say about this, Stevie? Redirect the behavior. Whenever your cat tries to bite someone's nipple, immediately redirect their attention to an appropriate toy or object. Provide sufficient play and stimulation and ensure your cat has enough mental and physical stimulation throughout the day. Set boundaries and discourage biting. When your cat approaches sensitive areas or starts biting, firmly say no and gently remove them from the situation. Reward them when they exhibit appropriate behavior. Address underlying causes. Determine if there are any underlying reasons for the behavior, okay. such as stress, okay. anxiety, or them. territorial issues. Yeah. You know, you as a human had to go and watch Netflix. Yeah. Think yeah. of all yeah. that time you wasted, where this computer well, we, just we, knew it already. We quite enjoyed it. Oh, you had a good time? Yeah. Well, that's cool. the difference between you and a computer. You can have a good time. Right. I had a good time. It's good to be a human sometimes. Next question, please. The cats are in charge. That's the moral. At Avery Q20... My upstairs neighbor tends to get loud at times, especially at night. Uh -huh. What are some creative ways to get him to quiet down and get me some more sleep? Creative ways. Soccer boy, you're being too loud up there. What are you doing? So this seems like either, okay, do you think that Avery Q has confronted this person? It sounds like maybe not so, thus far. It doesn't feel like there's been a conversation yet. Ironically, I think the answer is pasties? No. Huh. Um, putting a nipple in his mouth. Uh, <laughs> close. You get him suckling on a, a teat with some good milk? With some good milk. Good, good milk. That, He's going quiet that now. Trip to fan, I'll put him right to Go sleep. Go right to sleep. All right, so here's what you're going to have to do. That's our answer. Here's what you're going to have to do, because I want to talk about logistics for a second. I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to cut a little door <laughs> in the ceiling of your apartment. A little door. And Season you're gonna have to runner. get you're gonna have to get a volunteer. Okay? Um, I'll do it. Yeah. So Link is gonna do We're gonna somehow we're gonna we're gonna get Link to lactate. It's gonna be a project. I'm investing everything I got into it. Okay. All right. And then uh, we're gonna stick him up there in your apartment and just wait. And I guarantee you, your neighbor is not. Oh, gonna you're going to stick this. The the door, the nipple goes through the. Door. Oh, it's a nipple door. It's a nipple door. It's a it's, okay. <laughs> it's a really little door. All right. It's a little. Yep. See if the AI came up with a little door. Dealing with a no, no noisy upstairs <laughs> neighbor can be challenging, which is why you need a nipple door. <laughs> hey! Nailed it. Uh, especially when it affects your sleep. While it's important to approach the situation respectfully, yep. here's some creative ways to address the issue. One, communicate with your neighbor. Initiate a polite and friendly conversation with your upstairs neighbor to express your concerns. They may not be aware of the noise they are causing or how it affects you. Mm -hmm. Two, offer alternative solutions. Suggest possible solutions to help mitigate the noise issue. For example, you could propose using rugs or carpeting to reduce footstep noise, advising them rug. to move furniture yeah. away from shared walls, or recommending the use of noise dampering materials like acoustic panels or soundproof curtains. There's like twice Why don't as much. Why you renovate your house, neighbor? If you bring them a rug, though, 
I have. I brought you a gift. A you very ro- thick rug. Roll out the red carpet, so to speak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's wow. some good. Su- I mean, it suggests you could give a small gift that promotes peace and tranquility. Yeah. Such as a white noise machine, a, a shut plant, the hell up candle, or a relaxing CD. <laughs> the way, I'm confused. The AI is like using CDs. Yeah, okay. that's interesting. Yeah, it's yeah. Like that's... you humans and your CD, <laughs> yeah. your compact discs. So nothing about a nipple door. Interesting. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, before we we move on to our next question, we would like to bring in a very special guest. Some reinforcements. Tracen, he's with us today. Let's bring him in. <laughs> so uh, we met Tracen today through Make a Wish, and um, here we go. Here we go. Oh yeah, you're coming in in style, man. Do 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 do. Nice. This is Trace, and he's from Texas. Where, uh, he, uh, Dallas? Yes, sir. Da- Dallas. Don't, don't, I told you not to call me sir. <laughs> I know I'm 45. As you know, it's, this is te- Texas manners. You've got you've got good manners. Thank you. You've done a good job, Mom. <laughs> so you're over there listening to uh, our advice, and what are you what are you thinking? Um, I'm thinking it's pretty good advice. Exactly. <laughs> that's right. Exactly. You heard about that nipple door, and you thought, "Yep, that's exactly what I would do." <laughs> Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> so, uh, w- I, w- I want to see what you think of our advice for these next few. I mean, you can always add your own advice. All right. All right. Um, or you can just tell us that ours is better than AI okay. as like a baseline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you understand the assignment. And you and I, I saw you over there. You were getting hopped up on Mountain Dew. Uh, <laughs> you, you tasted pretty much every flavor that we had. And uh, my understanding is Mountain Dew is your favorite drink already. Yes, yeah, sir. Okay. You did so, it again. Um, <laughs> you're, did you, you're, so, it, you're so polite. Did you have a new favorite after tasting all of them? Um, I did like the, the spark pretty good. Okay. All right. See? So, you see, confirmed. Tracen agrees with us. Tracen approved. All right, let's get it. Let's get another pretty question. Good. Pretty good. I Next know question lemonade. comes from at Dell Devours. I shed so much hair every day that I've taken to brushing my hair outdoors and letting it float away on the breeze. What do I do if it turns up at some local crime scene? Oh, this is actually a really, really uh, big conundrum for Dell Devours here. Uh, I mean, step brushing one might be like br- brushing, you know, inside, but that would be too easy. That would be too easy. I think you need an alibi. Yeah. You know what? You have to have an all-purpose alibi. I think you got to go around everywhere brushing your hair. You got to be known as Dell the hair brusher, the right. outdoor hair brusher. Uh-huh. There you go. There you go. See, you got a TikTok account, maybe yeah. a YouTube channel, maybe sometimes you do landscape video. Um, <laughs> There's Dell again, you, we brushing need his hair outdoors. Of you. We need footage of you. Brushing your hair everywhere, and you're like, it's just kind of my thing. So I probably yeah. was there at some point. Contaminating crime scenes left and right. You need to show up at crime scenes and just like, bruh, just give them a good brush. Okay, AI, do better than that. AI took this very seriously. Um, <laughs> of course, there's four parts to the advice here. A little verbose, uh, AI. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shorten it a little bit. One, contain and dispose of hair properly. Two, secure your trash. Ensure that your trash bins are securely closed and not easily accessible to others. This reduces the likelihood of someone else coming across your discarded hair and potentially misinterpreting its presence. Uh, Three, be mindful of public spaces. If you're brushing your hair outdoors, try and avoid public spaces like parks or sidewalks where your hair may be more likely to come into contact with others. Come on, AI. And then also four is inform local authorities if necessary. If, despite your precautions, you find out that your hair has been found at a crime scene or you receive inquiries from authorities, it's essential to cooperate fully. Provide them with any information they request and explain the circumstances surrounding your Listen, shed uh, hair. AI's already trying to control us. It's like, don't go outside and brush your hair. And we're and, and the humans, you know what we said? We said brush your hair everywhere. So do you see? See the difference here, Trace. And what do you what do you think about Dell showing up at the police department, brushing his hair? I'm just saying. I just you know I just want I don't I want to turn myself in for the crime of brushing my hair everywhere, and I want to fully cooperate. Ooh, that's good. But I want to let you know that I'm not I'm not doing any other crimes. My hair is just everywhere. I'm kind of known for that. Yep. 
I would be an interesting person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my type of guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you had to turn yourself in. Yes, officer. I was at the scene of the crime. I'm a serial But I was brusher. only brushing my hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. So who are you siding with? Humans or AI? Uh, humans. Okay, yes. And by humans, you mean? Us. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right, what's the next one, Stevie? Let's wrap up on a, on a, on a good human-powered note. At Paytono. Paytono? <laughs> 79. I keep waking up with my shirt inside out. Okay, okay Peyton. Right. I, yeah, okay. This is... I keep waking up with my shirt inside now, out. Now, I'm assuming this is a problem because you go to sleep with it right side out. <laughs> Because if you're going to sleep with it inside out and waking up, then it's, everything's good. Uh, so I'm just reading into this a little bit. I, first place my mind goes is hot flashes. Now, you're gonna have to call me sir again because I know I'm showing my age. Me and my hot flashes. <laughs> You've had hot flashes? No. Well, I've woken up in a in a cold sweat, just okay. just drenched in sweat, and I've had to change my shirt. And sometimes when you get out of bed and you take your shirt off, and you're asleep. And you're, then you're like, what do I, what am I doing? Yeah, it's dark in the room and you then don't what? know what you're doing. And right. you already have a shirt in your hand. You just put it on. Just put yeah. it back on. It really could happen anyway. This is what's happening. I think this has happened to me. And then you're like, oh, this is the same shirt, but it's not as sweaty on this side. But it feels like this person is not taking their shirt off on purpose. It feels like they suspect that something fishy is going on. So I feel like I kinda, sleepwalking. I feel like what you got to do is you got to you got to wear a onesie to bed. <laughs> and and I mean I mean one of those onesies that was popular for like one week in 2013 like the short sleeve and the shorts onesie. What was that called? Oh, the the um the, the, the yes, the romper. The yes, romper. And they were like men are going to wear these and no one did. And uh, it's hard to get that it. off when you're sleepwalking. Yeah, you, if you like, if you're if you're taking stuff off at night, and you yeah. if you tug one too many times trying to take that off, you're gonna get it's gonna get caught somewhere. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? At that point, you know, right? You've and you can up. make your own romper with just a little thread and a needle if you want to sew your t-shirt to your underwear, <laughs> right? And um, does this romper have nipple doors? <laughs> well, hopefully, yes. Because you know how, like, the old old ones, they would have a, a butt flap. You pretty much could solve a lot of world problems with a romper that had nipple doors. Yeah. But we would also, solve two of these problems that we've had so far. What, one, the problem with each nipple? Yeah, well, I mean, if you close the nipple doors, a cat's not going to bite them. Exactly. Mm hmm <laughs> <laughs> Folks, I think we are witnessing the most badass appearance on a good mythical one ever. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Isn't this great? great? Trayson, it is It is an honor to have you here. It's an honor to be here. I appreciate it. <laughs> and to, to have your endorsement of all of our opinions. <laughs> You're just sitting back waiting to agree with us. <laughs> it feels really good yeah, to yeah, me. Yeah, I, I like this. Okay, Stevie, what did AI say about this? Because it's probably not a, a romper. Yeah, I gave some... Some options here. Uh, five different things. Um, one, wear clothes that fit well. Uh, two, use a sleep shirt that's designated for sleeping. I don't know. Uh, three, adjust your sleeping position. Four, no. tuck in your shirt. Oh, well, maybe. So that, yeah. And, and so then it. um, five of close, of close, of course, is check your shirt before bed. Take a moment to check that your shirt is on correctly right. before you go to bed. That, yeah, this simple be step can that help prevent waking up with your shirt inside out in the morning. And then finally, Remember that waking up with your shirt inside out is a minor inconvenience and nothing to worry about. <laughs> That's right, yeah. You're probably gonna be all right. <laughs> AI has never been more wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. AI can't even have a shirt. If you can't... You know, what is it? It doesn't know what it's talking about. If you can't figure out why your shirt's inside out, that is not a small <laughs> deal. <laughs> That's what I call a big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every morning, your shirt's inside out, not a big deal. Um, Okay, I think I think humans win this round again. Yeah, and by humans you mean us, right? Tracy, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Give our best to Dallas. I definitely will. <laughs> Don't drink too much of that spark, man. Yeah, can't get too much of that. 
Yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> Today's the last day to get the My Hair Goes vinyl. Join third degree quarterly or annual, plus get 15% off today only using code MYHAIR15.